all right everyone so first off welcome to a new day uh it is evening now and it's supper time so i'm gonna be making a meal that we've never made before but it's something uh glenn's family has made in the past and glenn said it's been about 35 40 years since he's had it and it's it seems pretty easy to make and they call it spanish rice but they use ketchup in it instead of any tomato sauce or puree or anything like that and I'll show you what it has in it but yeah we're gonna go ahead and make this um, that's coming from Glenn and his sister making up now and making amends and they're now speaking so they've spent a couple of calls together and they always usually end up talking about past meals that their mom made and things like that so this meal came up and Glenn felt like having it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a whirl. He said it wasn't his favorite back then, but he wants to see if he likes it. So let's do that and let me show you what we're using. Okay, everyone. So I have the rice going already. And as you can see, I got the ground beef in here. I'm just going to throw some salt and pepper in it. And then I'm going to add the onions and the green peppers to it. And then I'm just going to let it cook. Okay, so now in this bowl, I have the onions and the green peppers that I had in the food po food po <laughs> the food processor. I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up. Just gonna let it cook for a little bit and come back and stir it up again I want to keep the meat uh, like a real fine chop like as you would have tacos so I want to keep a fine mince on the meat Okay, everyone, so I've drained the grease out of the meat, and now I'm going to pour the rice in. I'm just going to pour it all in. So that was uh, one cup of rice. And I cook it in two cups of water. And I'm just going to stir this. I have the heat between two and three. Trying a new angle here on the camera. So let me know how you like it. I am actually uh, using my action camera, which is the camera I use for the bird cam. Uh, just trying different things, see what works good.
Okay, I am going to pour in some ketchup now. Not sure how much I have to use. We'll mix it up a little bit. Looks like we'll have to pour some more in. Okay, at this point, I'm going to give Glenn some, <laughs> and he can taste it. I'm not sure what how much is supposed to be in there. Or we can uh, salt and pepper from there. So yeah, let me, uh, let me go give Glenn a taste test, because <laughs> he knows what it's supposed to be like, the texture and all. All right, I will be right back. All right, everyone, so this is done. Um, whatever I put in for ketchup, that was good enough. Uh, Glenn thought it tasted good. I thought it tasted good. I took Glenn a bowl to, uh, with a little bit in it to taste it, and I was scarfing it. Uh, the green peppers came through really well. You can taste those. Uh, uh, you could taste a little bit of the bitterness from the ketchup, but other than that, it, I mean, it all just came together really well. So this is a nice meal. Uh, pretty simple to make um, yeah so we are gonna enjoy our supper now and I still have a weekly food pantry haul to bring to you so stay tuned for that okay everyone this is our weekly food pantry haul and keep in mind this is the one where we get to walk through and choose what we want from uh, different sections and this pantry also has a pretty decent produce section uh, a mixture of fruits and vegetables and we usually can pick out three so all right and you're always guaranteed well not i can't say guaranteed but it hasn't failed yet um every week you usually go home with uh some kind of meat all right so let's just uh start and i'll show you what we received so first uh this is a half a coffee cake it looks like a cinnamon or something in there so that's a half a coffee cake and this is a sausage beef sausage or regular sausage like summer sausage and then we got two packs you can hardly see them um you can't see them very well because i just took them out of the freezer i'm recording this late but <laughs> uh, so they're quite froze these are pork they look like the pork country style ribs and the last time we got these, they were really good. So I hope they're the same kind. But we got two packs, and it looks like there's two ribs in each one. So that's good. We got a pack of hot dog buns. And I don't believe we have hot dogs, but we do have a pack of uh, uh, smoked sausage. Yeah, I think we got that last week. So maybe we try that in the hot dog buns. Uh, Glenn, I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't like buns. He likes rolls. So uh, we got a total of seven potatoes. So these are the vegetables that I chose. Um, they had like apples, oranges, bananas, and then obviously the, the veggies you see in front of you. And there might have been a couple other things. But by the time I got there late again this, this week, um, but so by the time I get to the produce table, a lot of the stuff is gone, but I usually can still get what I think we would use. So I grabbed some potatoes. Well, I didn't grab them. I let them know. They actually give it to you. So she gave us uh, seven potatoes and then a head of broccoli and a bag of carrots. So I chose all those veggies. And we also got a can of, uh, you can see down there, can of uh, chicken breast. And then... Manwich and pork and beans 
got two cans of green giant peas, got a can of enchilada sauce and a can of uh, refried beans. Got this box of uh, Millville, I believe that's from Aldi, maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal, which is what I like. And a bag of toast tortilla chips, Old Dutch, and this bag of uh, breadsticks. So again, remember this is a weekly pantry. So we actually did receive quite a bit of stuff for a weekly pantry. All right. So that's going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in and taking that time out of your day. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.